For those of you who don't know me, I go by Dallas Fort Worth. I have never been to Dallas, Fort Worth, or even Texas for that matter. So I'm not real sure how I got the nickname. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. Actually, I'm going to tell you two things. I love eating. I love just about everything. Goulash. My mom makes a good goulash. And then I also like pizza, spaghetti, any pasta. Uh, and then the next thing is I love America. And I love it so much that, I don't know, what was I going to say? To say that I'm a whitetail enthusiast is an understatement. Just like the rest of the white knuckle crew, I spend way too much time in the timber throughout the year preparing for opening going into this season. Not to fall out of the tree and to kill one of the mature bucks that I had captured on trail camera. This season will definitely go down as the best slash worst season I have ever had. It's my favorite time of year, period. It is October 1st, 2010, and it's opening night, uh, and I'm just freaking excited to be out all day at work today. I was like a, a kid awaiting Christmas morning, but on crack cocaine. October 1st, baby, let's go hunting. There's a, there's a huge trail. They're working the edge of this uh, bean field and this uh, this cut, uh, thick cut stuff by the pond. My stand is around the corner. I'm pretty sure we're gonna run into some scrapes. But there, there's definitely deer moving in here. reached the base of our stand that we're going to be hunting out of tonight. Tons of uh, sign, three fresh scrapes, fresh rubs all along the tree line, and uh, uh, the deer are definitely working in this area. We have horses to the south of us. We got a northwest, north wind, and uh, not the best, but we got some ozonics to help us out with that. Now all we got to do is get set up, sit and wait. It is October 1st, and uh, I, along with uh, the rest of the bow hunters in Iowa, have been waiting for this day for a, a couple months now. First hunt of the year, back at a farm where me and Timmy had an encounter with uh, a giant 12-pointer last year. I got tons of good trail camera pictures of uh, some bucks that I passed last year, and then another big 8-pointer. Um, haven't come up with a name for him yet, but we'll think about that. We got a lot of time left in the tree stand this year. All day today at work, I was sitting at my computer, probably giving about less than 10% effort, and uh, just really thinking about today and uh, where I was gonna hunt, wind direction, uh, pinch points, and like putting a game plan together for the whole season, which always, always fails because uh, it will change tomorrow more than likely. I'm gonna go for a doe tonight. Pretty much the first doe that walks by is getting hammered, uh, hopefully, and uh, I'm just excited to be out. Um, can you hear that? Oh, no traffic. Nobody's talking. No phones ringing. This is absolutely awesome. I don't. I really don't even care if I see a deer today. Um, I'd like to, but I just love being out here. Not only do I have to share property with the other hunters, but I gotta share it with horses, and I gotta share it with some cattle too. And some goats. And what else? Peacocks, chickens. Well, uh, it looks to me like uh, we're not gonna see any deer tonight. Although we do have a good uh, maybe 45 minutes of shooting light left and you never know what could happen, but uh, the horses are ruling the roost right now. It's uh, the second night, uh, October 2nd. We're gonna, we made a decision that we're gonna come back to the same exact spot. The wind's still good for this position. 
I don't think we're going to be bothered by the horses tonight, well, knock on wood, but um, there's just something about this spot, the sign that's fresh. Uh, they're combining to the south of us, and I think that's going to push the deer closer to us. Um, I don't know, but we'll give it a shot. we got to set up. It's getting, it's getting late. And it, it wasn't until we were completely finished setting up that we that we saw the horses. And that's just my luck. Don't lose a finger. See some horses, you know. Could it really get any worse? It couldn't. I really I really like the the wind. I like the area. And uh, so that's why we decided to come back. Other than that, again I'm just trying to shoot a doe and uh, not fall out of the tree. We still got horses in the area. But it looks like they might be going back the other way, which is a good thing. Uh, trail camera pictures of that bug, uh, one during velvet, and then one uh, actually probably 500, 600 yards north of here. Um, I was hoping, I hope he doesn't get close. I really don't want to shoot him, although that would be the biggest deer I've ever shot. Uh, probably 145 inch 10, maybe 150. Yeah. Uh, mature for sure, four year old, easy. But hey, that is awesome. That is awesome seeing a uh, deer. I'm, you know, I'm hunting does, but there's plenty of buck sign in the area. buck about or <laughs> shot my doe about oh 40 minutes ago and uh, we decided to get down and uh, film the recovery it's a good sign pass through I know they're, they ran right back through here, so this is where we're going to just start looking. Uh,
where, where's the last blood at? Right here at my feet. Okay. Find her? I don't know. I might have. <laughs> that way? Yeah, I'll walk that way and see if you can find her. She, what, she's laying on top of a log? <laughs> she's laying right beside us. On the other side of the log where we were at? You'll see her. Oh, no. Right there. <laughs> I shot her way, I shot her way forward, but I shot her. You can see the bubbles. I double lunged her, so she didn't go very far at all. Here she is. I love this. Now it is buck time, and uh, I got my eye on a couple. One of them, now the one that we just saw. Uh, got it. I got a couple trail camera pictures of him, but I'm not sure if I'm going to shoot him. You know, there's shipwreck, there's another big eight that's out on this property, and there's a variety of other bucks that uh, I have trail camera pictures of that I, I will probably shoot this year. Anyway, this is gonna be a beautiful uh, main course on one of, our, one of our meals, so we're gonna get her cleaned up, gutted, and in the freezer. <laughs> 